military empire of the military industrial complex, no more troops dying for profiteers, no more criminally inefficient welfare, no more OSHA, no more EPA, no more Department of Commerce, Energy, Agriculture, or Labor stifling American businesses, no more Department of Transportation bribing states with their monopoly road money, creating systems that are inefficient, ineffective, and dangerous, resulting in 40,000 unnecessary deaths every year. No more, uh, oh wait, uh, this is really the best campaign promise anyone could ever make. No more daylight savings time. Yeah. <laughs> wait a second, all that other stuff, you guys didn't have anything to say about the daylight savings time? Yeah, okay, sure. A little perspective here, all right? No more FDA, that means no more drug war, no more worrying about Kratom being scheduled one. No more FCC, stifling freedom of speech. No more Department of Homeland Security. And for those of you who are so hard up for action, I'm sorry, that also means no more TSA groping you at the airports. No more federal gun laws or regulations, period. No more Department of Injustice. We get to release yeah. everyone who's in jail for victimless crimes, as yeah. well as political prisoners, Chelsea Manning, Ross Ulbricht, Schaefer Cox, and Harden Edward Snowden. No more militarization of local police with federal tax dollars. <coughs> no more CIA, no more FBI. That means no more secrets. We will have all the documents. No more DARPA, That's uh, that means all the patents that department has invested in get to be used by the public. No more BLM, not just Black Lives Matter, that's Bureau of Land Management. And of course, uh, no more NSA, the only part of government that's actually listening. And yes, remember, they have all your selfies. Uh, mm -hmm. Why won't they send me a copy of my hard drive? <laughs> and uh, most importantly, as far as I'm concerned, no more news. So, Oh, there's, a, there's one more I forgot here with uh, 50 independent states, of course. The Olympics will be far more competitive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if America still means anything about standing up to tyranny, standing up for freedom and injustice, then this campaign is by far the most American thing in America since the American Revolution, because America. <laughs> <laughs> We're drawing a line in the sand, and I don't know that this is how it's going to happen. I can't tell you that it's not going to happen with a collapse or a widespread secession movement, but I know that by drawing the line in the sand and saying you're either pro-America, pro-freedom, pro-justice, or pro-government, we are ensuring that that transition will be as peaceful and orderly as possible. If we can do it this way through the electoral process, we can guarantee the smoothest transition possible. But it might not happen this way. I can't make any promises. And I can't promise that it's going to happen in 2020. Some people ask me, are you running to win or are you running to educate people? Is yes. <laughs> we will educate enough people about the nature of government until we have a consensus that it should not exist. And we can begin its orderly dissolution through a, a process that doesn't pull the rug out from underneath anyone. So today, I humbly, truly humbly ask for your support in this endeavor. Even if you're one of those people who thinks that, that voting is a, a total waste of time, and I would say 99% of the time, you're probably right. It was so easy. Here in Virginia, 33 delegate spots. I'm sorry, I got this just earlier today. 33 delegate spots, and only 28 delegates from Virginia went. That means if you showed up to one meeting, you could have been a delegate at the LNC. You could have voted on who the nominee was in this process. We'll be out of here in, in a few minutes. minutes. Thank you. Oh, five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Thank you, sir. Then, so if you can sign up today and be a part of this, it's important and the, the, the point that this movement is so young that you take advantage of this opportunity to shape our future and to shape our destiny. And you can have a role in this very easily. Van is our delegate strategist coordinator. We're going to be raising delegates for 2018 as a warm-up to 2020. We want to make sure that people who get discouraged when they see the establishment in the party stay engaged, the people who believe in this message, the younger people who wake up to this, that they know that their voice can have an impact in national politics by being engaged with the Libertarian Party, whether or not you believe in voting. So please sign up. Please take a book tonight. I'm, I will, as soon as I wrap up in just a few seconds, you can all grab books and we'll sign them. People can go out as we can, we'll go over to the trailer and take the after party into the parking lot where we, we tend to engage in some civil disobedience. I'm glad that they haven't made marijuana too legal here. Because, <laughs> you know, in Colorado, it's so legal, it's not even fun to smoke anymore. <laughs> but 
I'll just close with a little note about who we are as a movement and the opportunity that we have here. Because if you notice, just looking around, looking around the movement, uh, it's not the captains of the football teams or the cheerleader squads or the student body presidents who are the first to challenge the status quo. We are the outcasts and the freaks and the weirdos and the rebels and the misfits and the square pegs and the round holes and the downtrodden and the victims of statism and those who had the empathy to appreciate the suffering of the victims of war or maybe the police state or just your neighbor who because of some legal hassle couldn't afford an extra load of groceries that he wanted. And we are the ones who just like in every cheesy Hollywood plot line like this get to come in and save the day by standing up to the bully. And we are standing up to the biggest bully in the history of humanity, the federal government of the United States of America. And we get to be the ones to say, we are not afraid, we will not back down, we have the truth, and we are gonna make this happen. We are gonna make the Libertarian Party Libertarian again, we are gonna make America American again, and we are gonna bring freedom back to this conversation. So thank you very much for being here tonight, and thank you for being the Freedom Movement.